Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. It's another Dyno Saturday for the Dyno Mule. We're testing out the smaller uh, exhaust housing on the, uh, the Pulsar 3576. It's a .63 AR housing with uh, N65 injectors. So the last run I did, I ran a .82 housing and this time we're running the .63 and compare the numbers and see how it responds. Uh, there's a few guys out there that have the smaller injectors and they just wanna see how this housing responds. So, so a pretty sweet setup, stainless steel, uh, a little bit smaller of course than the .82 housing. So I'll set everything up and we'll fire uh, the mule up and do another dyno session. So uh, very interested to see how that, uh, that smaller housing performs. So uh, let's get to it, shall we? Let's give them two extra. This one here? Yep. And then you're with.
simulate lugging. Well, another good run, but uh, the numbers are way down. Horsepower numbers, torque numbers across the board are down. Uh, drive pressures are up. Air box is up. Uh, boost, eh, I think it's about the same as the 0.82 housing. But uh, I'll give you the numbers. It, it ran really nice. I didn't see much smoke. I'll review the, uh, the video footage. But... Uh, it pulled pretty good, you know, with those lugging pulls, it pulled pretty good, but it just doesn't have the same amount of power as the uh, 0.82 housing. Sort of suspected that, but uh, now we know for sure it doesn't like that small housing. It kind of starves the engine for airflow, so. So that 0.63 housing Maybe for a 353T, I think that would work really nice on a 353. Um, but for the 453, no. So we did 42 minutes of beating on it. I did three or four pulls and horsepower runs and then the, the deep lugging pulls. And the numbers were all the same. It didn't, uh, didn't change. So. Uh, we made uh, 430 foot 
435 foot-pounds at 1500 RPM for torque. Uh, the top horsepower was 145 horse at 2300 RPM and at 2500 RPM 130 35 horse so whoa, way down drive pressures uh, at 1500 drive so airbox drive and boost were all 14 psi across the board uh, for top horsepower drive was 34 so we'll start with T-Boost. So T-Boost was 23, Airbox was 36, and the drive was 34. And at 2,500, uh, 23 uh, PSI, the Airbox was 40, and the drive was 38. So that's it. I mean, uh, Pre-intercooler was 258 degrees, and post-intercooler was 122 degrees. Uh, max EGTs were 800 at 1500 RPM, and 750 at the 2500 and 2300 RPM with max horsepower pulls. So EGTs were relatively low, considering it uh, was kind of smothered, but and the lugging pulls, it, it responded really well, of course, with the small turbine, it, uh, or, or the small housing, it pulled really nice, so it just doesn't have the same power. It's a real dog, so I like the uh, temp gauge. I ruled out a, a hot engine by switching that out to a mechanical gauge, so now uh, all the gauges are accurate. The only thing I have left to do, I keep talking about, is that tack gauge. But uh, what we're going to do next for the Dino Mule is we're going to test some 9A90s. That's what some of the guys wanted to see. And then I'm going to build those 9210s up, run that one last time without a bypass, put the bypass in for the blower, and run it again and see what the differences are. And then lastly, we're going to advance the cam timing one tooth. I'm <clears throat> I may have to pull that engine off the stand anyway to uh, to dyno the 353. So at the same time, I'm building a 353. So uh, you guys that are watching this channel a lot know that. So. I don't know what comes first, the 9210s or the, uh, the 353. My camshaft shows up uh, probably in another week, so we'll see. Well, there you have it, guys. Another uh, dyno day for the dyno mule. And uh, like I said, the next dyno session will be uh, 9A90s. And uh, those are a popular uh, injector for the 453 guys so we're going to run that and see what uh, what kind of numbers it makes so again thanks for checking in and we'll catch you on the next video take care